Hello, welcome to this video. So we're gonna find x and find y given these two equations. So what am I gonna do first? Well, as you can see, you have x to the base y and y to the base x. The bases are not the same. There's technically nothing you can do unless the bases become the same. So I'm gonna to choose to make the bases either of these two that way I can get rid of one of them. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to choose to make the base x. So I'm going to do it this way. Log x over log y. I need you to see that this logarithmic expression, this is actually what it means. You can do the same thing for this one, like that. So now that I have actually rewritten this like this, the common base at this point is base 10, but base 10 is not helping me, okay? I'm gonna change the base now to base X or base Y, but I'm gonna choose base X. You could choose either of these two. That way, you're gonna get rid of one of these letters and you have something to work with. Let's see how that goes. So at this point, log x base x is 1, log x base x is 1. So what I have is 1 over this, if I multiply each term by this denominator, what I'm going to end up with is 1 plus log y base x squared equals 2.9 log y base x. You see how smooth that is? I've been able to get rid of the other log x now, I have this expression, I have this expression. It looks like I can make a quadratic equation out of this if I substitute a letter, let's say u. I can put u to represent log y base x. So I can say, let u be equal to log y base x. Now, if I go here, what I have will be one plus u squared is equal to 2.9u. This looks like a quadratic equation. So let's solve it. So this is going to be u squared minus 2.9u plus 1 equals 0. Let's use the quadratic formula. We'll end up getting u equals minus b will be minus negative 2.9 plus or minus square root of b squared. b squared is going to be 2.9 squared. That's um, negative 2.9 squared minus 4 times a. Our a right here is 1. 4 times 4ac. And what's c? c is also 1. Okay. All over 2a. That's 2 times our a is 1. So. If we get this out, this is going to be 2.9, 2.9 plus or minus. This is going to be, um, it, it will turn positive, okay? It will become 2.9 squared, okay? Um, square root of 2.9 squared minus 4. Now, all over 2. 
So the good thing is, if you have a calculator, you can punch this in, but I don't have a calculator. So I'm just gonna do it mentally. Four is two squared. So this looks like difference of two squares. Okay, let me just do the work here. Look at this, 2.9 squared minus four can be written as 2.9 squared minus two squared. Now this is difference of two squares, which is 2.9 minus two and 2.9 plus two. Look at that. What is 2.9 minus two? That's 0 0.9. And what is 2.9 plus two? That is 4.9. Okay, if you multiply these two together, you're gonna get 441. Now, that's what we're gonna have here with a decimal point here. Okay, I just did the math here. You could use a calculator if you want, but I just don't like calculators. Okay, so what we have here will eventually be 2.9 plus or minus square root of 4.41 over two. I know the square root of 4.41 is 21. I mean 2.1 because 441 the square root of it will be 21. How do I remember these things? Well I know that 12 squared is 144. If you reverse this let these letters you're gonna have 2 1 squared you reverse the answer too. It's just some easy way for me to remember it. Okay so I know that it also works for 31 and 13. Okay the square of 13 is 169 and the square of 31 is 961. You see that? Well, just for those two numbers, that's how I remember them. Okay, let's move on. Uh, that would be 2.9 plus or minus, um, the square root of 4.41 is 2.1 all over two. This leaves us with 2.9 plus 2.1 over two or 2.9 minus 2.1 over 2. This gives us 5 over 2, and this answer gives us um, 0 0.8 over 2, which is 0 0.4. And 0 0.4 is going to be 4 over 10, which is 2 over 5. Well, let's just write 0 0.4. Okay, 0 0.4, which also implies um, 4 over 10, which is 2 over 5. Okay, so we have two possible answers here, 5 over 2 or 2 over 5. Let's go see how that's going to work out. We want to find x and y. Okay, so at this point, the answer we have is u. This is our u, and u is log x, log y base x. So we say log y base x is equal to 5 over 2. Okay, it simply means that y is equal to x to the 5 over 2. It also means or is equal to x to the 2 over 5. Those are the two possible answers that we could get. So using the values of x, y, x times y equals 128, we can as well just come here and use that and solve this. Let's get to the end. So we have x, y equals 128, or we have the other side, we have x, y equals 128. We just need to replace y with something in terms of x. So this is going to be x multiplied by x to the 5 over 2. And do the same thing. It's going to be x multiplied by, well, this now x to 2 over 5 equals 128. Okay. So, and this also is 128. Now, this is easy to solve because this is x to the first. This is x to the first. When you add 1 to 5 over 2, it's like adding 2 over 2 to 5 over 2. That gives you 7 over 2. So x to the 7 halves is 128. And in this case, it's going to be x to the 7 fifths is 128. Okay, so how do we get x? Well, x is going to be 128 
to the two seventh, you flip the um, the exponent. The same thing here. Um, X is going to be one twenty eight to the like that. Okay. So, what is the seventh root of one twenty eight? It's two. That's going to be two squared which is going to be 4. Okay, what is the seventh root is 2. X is going to be 2 to the fifth, and 2 to the fifth is 32. Okay, so X could either be 4 or X could be 32. We can just find what Y will be. Okay, so we have Y equals 128 divided by X, 128 over X which would be 128 over 4, and that gives you y equals 32. On this side, y will be equal to, or oh, it looks like the value switch. Okay, y will be equal to 128 over, in this case, 32, which means y equals 4. So as you can see, on this side, it's either, you have x is, x is 4, and y is 32, okay, that's one option, or you have x is 32 and y is 4. Don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.